All right, all right, all right, all right. Anyways, I got my water, and I'm ready for this. Ladies and gentlemen, we are listening to a death album. That's right. Uh, and again, uh, expect the stream to go down. I also think that death is uh, pretty strict on copyright in general. Damn, man, I'm excited for this one. I I've heard a few songs specifically off of this album, uh, Human by Death. And uh, yeah, I remember enjoying them quite a bit. Um, but yeah, I have heard two death albums. I heard, um, oh, shit, I forgot the name of it. I, I heard Symbolic and yeah, yeah, here we go. The Sound of uh, Perseverance. Yeah, per The Sound of Perseverance. I had to remember. There's so many words that are like, you know, precipitation, the sound of perspective, you know, the sound of uh, preservatives. So, you know, perseverance is what it is, of course. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Human. I'm excited for this one. I believe this one came out before uh, the other ones that I uh, heard, right? Let's double check as well. Albums. Oh, wait, I think I've heard some from Leprosy. Is this like one of their earliest albums, I guess? At least maybe that would make sense. When did Symbolic come out? Yeah, I mean, it's four years before Symbolic. So yeah, it's one of their earlier projects. So I'm expecting the sound to be a little bit different. But regardless, these guys are just, they're, they're killer in their genre. Like, peak for what they do. So I, I don't expect I'm going to dislike this in any regard, uh, which is why I was so excited to hear this. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, first song, Flattening of Emotions. Let's go. Man, this is so hype. I also got sushi, so. Even more hype. Saying. Oh my god, I can't even. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Might be the most consistent man of all time. Now these guys are crazy. They're so talented, all of them. God, I'm sorry. Like, I gotta say this. The band Death, they make these songs that are so heavy, but methodical. Um, I would honestly compare the way that they make their tracks to what appeals to me about the specifics when it comes to something like Tool. Um, where there is, there is something like an equation happening with the way that they put these together, and usually a greater sense of purpose in the lyrics. 
Um, but also never taking itself too seriously to the point of where I can't, you know, like, uh, pull it together. All right, to anyone who, uh, to anyone who has just joined, we are uh, in the first song of this Death album. Uh, third album I've heard from Death, and uh, immediately off the bat, it is amazing. It's exhilarating and exactly what I was hoping it would be. Uh, so, yeah, let's continue. Go back a little bit. <laughs> Probably flinging food all over the place. I mean, I pretty much got exactly what I expected in terms of style. But again, it's kind of like, you, it's hard to always predict this high level of execution, even from a band like Death. It's still shocking every single time. Nerve-wracking riffs out of the gate feel sharp, uh, sharply resentful of normality. The composition also manages to sound clear. Yes, exactly, without sacrificing the filth. Yeah, like, it's allowed to be complicated, but it also, at the same time, is like, it, it knows what it's doing, and it's clear that it's not just fucking around or trying to trick you into thinking what you're listening to is heavy with some bullshit. Like, no, it's, it's heavy on a very deep level, which is why I feel like it, it is so satisfying to have such incredibly talented musicians doing something so technical, um, but also at the same time, there's something uh, very real about the experience. Next song is called um, uh, Sewer Slide Machine. <laughs> This is a version I was sent in, so... Writing is so good. Oh, 
someone else's suffering. Yeah, I mean, the lyrics are so impactful, too. It's really the full package. Sounds like a cat strangling a chihuahua. Really? I just realized I was so excited for this album, I didn't even read the message for it. Another death album. This is Human, their fourth album. The YouTube video is a music video for one of the songs, Lack of uh, comp uh, yeah, Comprehension, sent in by David Claiborne. Thank you, David. I appreciate you. Sorry, I was, I was so hyped, I forgot. Okay. Uh, you, okay, I have to say this. You don't even know. Like, I haven't listened to Death in a while. But I forgot that feeling. That fulfilling feeling of listening to this band. Like, doing this on stream. It's like, man, these songs feel so full. Like, like they're an experience. Like, they, you get something from them. Sushi's all fucked up. Jesus. How much? Ten out of ten song? Yeah, here's the thing. Suicide Machine, I think, is... What makes death, death? What makes them so fantastic? What makes them so impactful? lyrics of this song are just insane but i also feel like it works as a, as an amazing sonic palette honestly yeah this could probably go toe to toe with any other song effort from death i i thought that was amazing i'm feeling I'm so happy that this is at the same quality as the other death like albums that I've heard. Literally, it is like and this I remind you, this album came out first. They have not lost it. Even at the, from this point on, they have not lost it a little bit. Like, these guys are just fucking killer, dude. Next song, Together is One.
sorry, I keep pausing. Listen, no one's even complaining, but I want to mention this anyways. The sound of these albums are allowed to be similar because I feel like conceptually, like these songs, the topics, this really does feel like a human experience type of album. You know what I mean? Like in terms of the words and everything, like, like I pick up on that and I love it and I'm just interested to see what happens next lyrically over just unmatchable metal music. Yeah, I agree, Art. Thank you, interesting shorts. in a narrative soundscape. I hear voices. Such a no bullshit approach to metal music. It's so refreshing, dude. It's gonna be this is my third death album. I've heard all the big ones now. Besides individual thought patterns and leprosy, I guess. And, yeah, actually I I'm missing out on some, yeah. Was this released? 91. Together, they absorb each other's lives. As one, they will live and they will die. And live in hell. Happy Another extremely satisfying track. Uh, while the lyrics can be interpolated differently, my picture... Uh, I picture this is heart. Is at heart pretty sweet, empowering of trust and understanding that could be accomplished once you abandon caring for public judgment. And I, yeah, and I wasn't picking up on that at all. You know what I mean? Everyone's able to feel their own thing through it, but that's the thing about great writing. You know what I mean? I mean, this song is fucking amazing on every single level, man. I'm loving this shit, man. Oh my god! I hope people don't understand me when I say I love death and suicide. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah <laughs> fair enough you know secret face oh my god Yeah. And the one behind us. Fight suicide beneath the 
By the way, in case you're wondering, <clears throat> I, I find this very funny. Uh, hold on, let me find this real quick. Yeah, this is the lowest rated song on the album. You're listening to it right now. So in case you were worried about it going down in quality, yeah, this is apparently the worst song on the album. Isn't that crazy? I mean, I say worse, but I mean, look at this. Like, you know. <laughs> Every song is bolded, so, you know. Missing portrait of paranoia, both in sound and lyrics. Crazier is this feel like one of the more accessible death albums? I mean, I thought Secret Face was absolutely amazing and a just stellar journey. I, I don't really have. Here's the thing: is like I feel like I have the same exact thing to say about all these songs so far, and literally nothing negative i love the performance the sound the blends 
the journey. It's like I'm I'm so lost in it. I don't even I forget I'm streaming. You know? I'm just so excited by this music, dude. It's uh yes. Keep it going. Lack of comprehension. Hey. Sounds different because it's got a different producer. We the best music! DJ Khaled! Did you react to new Jacob Collier? It doesn't sound that fun. Bingo and you're not doing well? What are you, 85? What the hell are you doing at Bingo? I'll be honest, the more I'm listening through this album, the more I'm picking up on just how difficult it is to put together a song like this. This is incredible, like genuinely. I'm feeling okay. You wonder, like, you wonder why I got so excited when I saw this on the queue. It's because <laughs> this is music that reminds me why I love what I do. I say that for a lot of albums, but this is just one of them. Okay, you gotta understand. Death is one of those bands where they pull together a song that's heavy, and you're like, how does somebody <clears throat> put so much effort into something so cohesive and have it be also metal, not just for the purpose of thrashing, but for the purpose of meditating? 
It's crazy, dude. Like, it's... Oh, what a fucking crazy album so far. It's so good. Oh, my God. Next song, See Through Dreams. Certified hive mind exclamation point hive mind moment. Yeah. Video, I had no promises. I, I have been recording it though. I'm just enjoying it in the moment right now. So good. Holy shit. I'm just in a daze right now. This this is the lowest rated? Really? Is that real? I mean this is the lowest rated. Huh. We just listen to the same song here? Am I going crazy? What? No. I'm feeling 
You know, I love that that's one of the most meditative songs so far due to the fact that it is about dreaming. It's about closing your eyes and appreciation and basically a lot of other aspects of it. There's some real shit attached to this, but also, man, like, wow, that, that shit hit hard, dude. Even with that said, I'm sure there's hundreds of ways I can interpret it that would make sense. I know, it's so good. It's so good. I need to listen to individual thought patterns. Is that your favorite death album returns? Because I know you like this one. I mean, this, this, I, I could see why, you know what I mean? I mean, this shit is unbelievable, but like, and anyway, so, uh, shit, not, next song, Cosmic Sea. Probably an instrumental track. Metallica or Jeff? I mean, we have both. You know, I'm not even gonna... I don't think my answer matters. I'm happy we have both. Instrumental tracks are always so good. They really are. Metallica on the queue at all. I only know about the albums on the queue. Now I don't think there's any Metallica albums, so. I feel like. Oh. Damn, it's only been two minutes? Ten dollars for you to spin a wheel, which determines what album we listen to. Okay, that's good. I'll tell you what, Space Ashes. I'll reserve your spot, meaning whatever I land on, when you pay in that moment, I'll listen to the album. I think that's fair. Not special treatment. I mean, they did donate. It's a nice fit in the album having an instrumental. Yeah, and it's so good, too. Building on themes of transcendental separation from physical in, uh, impressions without having to say a word. Man, this chat is so good, dude. Oh, 
Cosmic Sea, despite being an instrumental track and a lot of the ideas throughout this album basically heavily relying on the story being super interesting, this can hold a candle to any other track on this album. It's crazy. I mean, it's just such a good song. Final song, Vacant Planets. It's already almost over, you guys. Another instrumental? symbolic symbolic is also next level same with this album they're both incredible Every death album so far I mean they're all so close it would probably have to be symbolic but Honestly, this is probably a close second. <sighs> oh, what a great outro, dude. <laughs> what an amazing outro. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what an album. Oh, what a great album. Sound of, for, yeah, I, I have. I have. Did. I mean, yeah, for this album, I'd give it a 9 to a 9 plus. I mean, yeah, I... I, th I think it's phenomenal. I don't think it misses once. I think it's very heady as well. 
The writing is unreal. The flow, amazing. The songs, all eight of them are amazing as well. They're all great in their own way. Yeah, the the sound, the technicality of all of this takes me to a, a, another plane of existence. They are just so unbelievably talented as musicians. It's like they don't even need to try as hard as they do to succeed, but they do, and it really does show, and it pays off. Some felt so immersive. Uh, it felt like I was slaying dragons in Hades, and up next, I have to fight Zeus overall. Amazing 2 out of 10. Wow. Not something I listen to, but the lyrics grab you by the throat, and the instrumentals are freaking talented. Loved Cosmic Sea. I know. It's a dude. Instrumental song was insane. I'm, I'm, dude, I can go on and on about this song, so I might as well, okay? I mean, th seriously, this is so rich. The sound is so rich, okay? But it also, the way that it goes about it, it's, it's so like, um, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, like tasteful in the way it goes about everything. Like, you know, there's nothing's too overblown, nothing's tacky. It's just everything is very methodical. There's a lot of care. It's just, ah, symbolic and uh, perseverance just barely edge of a strong nine for me. Yeah, but that's the thing is like, they're all so good. Like, I can't even be mad. I like, I feel like, you know, I have to pick a favorite child here with saying a favorite death album. They're all so damn good. Why are they all so damn good? I'll play the Mario dubstep cipher. Okay. I got you. Goodbye. It's me, Mario and the gang. You probably know.